Yes. Now we will discuss about the development of the heart part 6. In this part we will discuss about the absorption of sinus venosus. So here is a trial chamber. This is sinoatrial orifice. Here is septum sporium. This is septum sporium. This is This is sinoatrial orifice. This is right venous valve. This is left valve, and here is septum. This is. Septum intermedium, this is septum primum, this is septum secundum, if you got a section at this level, you will find This is position of the septum. This is position of the interatrial septum. This is interatrial septum. This is interatrial septum. Here is position of this is right venous wall. This is left venous wall, and here is Sinus venosus. This is sinus venosus. This is left horn. This is right horn. As this chamber grows, this sinus venosus absorbs into its wall here, and it is spread here and here. So, left wall merge with the septum intermedium. And right wall, right wall grows like this. And now, with absorption of these wall into the atrial chamber, these three openings are separately arranged into the right atrium. If you see in another diagram. Here lies one opening, so these are three openings, these are three openings, one, two, three, this is left horn, which is converted into coronary sinus. This is right horn. It receives right common cardinal vein and here right umbilical vein become disappear and this is right vitiline vein. This from superior vena cava, this from inferior vena cava, this from coronary sinus. 
so if you make another diagram this is position of This is opening up superior vena cava. Here is opening up inferior vena cava. This is opening up the coronary sinus. And this part, which is formed by left valve of the coronary, left up wall of the uh, valve of the uh, uh, sorry, uh, right valve of the uh, sinus atrial orifice. This is right wall left merge with the interactual septum and right form the crista terminalis it form the crista terminalis and this is valve of the inferior vena cava this is valve of inferior vena cava that is known as eustachian valve Stachian wall and wall of the coronary sinus. This wall of the coronary sinus is known as Thibetian wall. So this structure is formed by this right wall and septum spurium and left venous wall. This merge with this interatrial septum interatrial septum if you see this is adult heart if you cut this chamber and reflect. Here is muscularized pectinity. So from here, to, this is superior vena cava, from here to inferior vena cava. This is crista terminalis. So this is crista terminalis, this is crista terminalis. Here, rough part is formed by primitive atrial chamber. Crista terminalis is formed by right valve of the sinoatrial orifice and valve of the inferior vena cava. Eustachian wall, it is formed by this right valve of the sinus atrial orifice. And here is position of the coronary, opening of the coronary sinus. This is valve of the coronary sinus. So, valve of coronary sinus is formed by the valve of coronary sinus is formed by again this right valve of the sinus atrial orifice. So, these structures formed by this. Here is This is septum primum. Here is this septum secundum. Here, fossa ovalis is formed. This is fossa ovalis. And here is limbus. This is limbus fossa ovalis, which is formed by septum secundum. Septum secundum formed limbus fossa ovalis. This is fossa ovalis. And here is Oval foramen or foramen ovale is present during embryonic life and is closed to the adult. So rough part of the right atrium is formed by primitive atrium. This is smooth part, this is smooth part, this part is and this part is formed by 
I'm Jabson of the sinus denosus. And here, this part is formed by right atrioventricular orifice. So this is all about the absorption of the sinus venosus. Thank you.